This is the only seven star hotel in one of the most expensive cities in the world. And I'm gonna find out if money really does buy happiness. Now we're gonna draw popsicle sticks to see who gets the $1 vacation and who gets the $100,000 vacation. <laughs> Rip my bank account. Ah, go for this one. Yeah, this Wait. feels really short. You're just no! <laughs> no! Thank God, Simply Safe is sponsoring this video. Thankfully, I get your credit card. <laughs> please, Dave, please do not go overboard. No one should trust me with any kind of money. I make really bad financial decisions, as you're about to see. Really bad financial decisions was a massive understatement. I guess today you got a lot more Dave than usual. <laughs> really should have brought sunscreen in the event of this happening. That's right. For the next 24 hours, I'm going to be finding out if you really can survive off of $1 in one of the most expensive cities on Earth. Meanwhile, Dave will be staying at the most expensive hotel in Dubai, where one of the rooms costs in the upwards of $100,000 a night. You guys, I'm begging you, please watch this to the end because I need to be able to pay this money back. Okay, this is my room. Oh my. I spent way too much money. Holy. Meanwhile, I was just trying to find some food while not looking homeless because I'm pretty sure being homeless is illegal here. You know where there's any free food? Free food? Yeah. No free food. Uh, I got a plan. <laughs> I wasn't about to just sit in my own self-pity. You see, I'm the guy who traded sand all the way up to a test. This is what I was made for. The plan is simple. Sell this beautiful seashell for a dollar and then use that dollar to invest in more items to sell to the tourists on this beach. I have this absolutely gorgeous seashell I'm trying to sell for a dollar. Are you interested? No. Would you like to buy this seashell from me? No. Uh, bummer. It, it's really special. It's one of one. Well, that failed much faster than I thought it would. And while I was suffering just to find a quick bite to eat, Dave was having the time of his life. Quick room tour. The study. <laughs> the living area. Plenty of space. The beauty section. Fit with the Dyson hairdryer. The kitchen. Let's give this bad boy a go. Level two. <laughs> the master suite. I have never had a hairdryer that looks like a donut. Uh, it comes with a mirror on the roof. I kind of look like a Roblox character. The bathroom. Where I spend most of my time. Whoa! <laughs> All of this is real gold. I think this is sushi. It looks like there's some kind of animal eggs on it. They burst into my <laughs> oh <my> gosh. <laughs> As you can see, I'm already bored, and I've been here for five minutes. <laughs> oh, I've broken it. And while Dave was busy breaking everything on site, I was busy breaking my back just to make a few measly dollars. All right, so my plan is not working at all. I really can't understand how it was easier to sell a little cup of sand than this beautiful seashell. I need to get off this beach and find some food. Here's the problem. Everything in this area is incredibly bougie. I went in search of food and literally it's all five-star restaurants. So my idea is head to the Dubai Mall, the biggest mall in the world. There's gotta be tons of food options. And maybe, just maybe, some samples. The only problem is, I don't have any money for transportation. And it's a freaking long ways away. Excuse me, are you going to the Dubai Mall? Yeah. All right, thank you. Bad was turning into worse. As I prepared myself to walk to the mall in search of a few free samples, Dave was getting hand-delivered complimentary snacks. Hello? Hello, how are you? Very good, thank you. I have some sandwiches for you. Oh, thank you so much. Just uh, okay. leave them there. Ic ignore the, the camera. <laughs> Why do I make everything awkward? <laughs> that was so awkward for no reason. Here's to the lady who knocked on my door. Since I wasn't ready to spend my $1 yet, I decided it was time to take on the big trek and put these pathetic legs to work and make my way to the Holy Grail, the Dubai Mall. Oh. My gosh, my legs are tired. Hopefully there's food. And while I was attempting to gain just a few morsels, Dave was actually making real gains. And at the mall, there was food all right. More food than I could possibly imagine. Heck, even my favorite fast food spot was here, Burger King. I am so ridiculously hungry. Brunch is served, I guess, for me and my six children. We've got beans and pancakes. Delicious. This is torture. Eggs, beans, orange juice. That is real gold. I'm going to eat real gold. And for no reason at all, I'm torturing myself looking at food. Me and my six children are going to enjoy these croissants. Excuse me, do you have any samples? Oh, yes. Oh my word, that is delicious. Thank you so much. And while I was satisfied with tiny scraps of food, which truly were amazing. Oh my goodness, I'm in luck. That is really good. What can I get for a dollar? Oh, tea. I don't have anywhere to make tea. Nothing could compare to the absolute beast that Dave was consuming on my diet. Holy samples. <laughs> Ice cream, are you kidding me? Okay, I'm trying to eat it all. I even used different plates to see if it like made me hungry again. Didn't work. I still needed to find a place to sleep, so I decided to go all yes 
latest theory on this and make friends with someone hoping that they will invite me to stay at their place because I'm pretty confident that my $1 isn't going to get me a hotel room. Will you be my friend, Kitty? It's official, guys. I did it. I found a friend. It probably has something wrong with it. We're gonna call this cat George. George, I love you. Thank you for caring about me. Thank you for loving me. That's what I needed. I'm gonna come back to you, George. But right now, I need to find dinner. I already miss George. And while I was searching for a place to spend the night, Dave was still enjoying every single little amenity this incredible hotel has to offer. This is the craziest view. People jet skiing. I can go there. This is a lie. This view is ridiculous. To become a YouTuber, they said. My mom thinks I deal drugs. You probably know I think I definitely deal drugs. <laughs> so, I'm still scoping out places to sleep. We don't have any good news yet, but I, I did find this thing, which I'm pretty sure is a bus stop. Seems pretty great. And also, what is this in Dubai? A grassy knoll? I might be able to find a nice spot back there. So, I have options. We might have a place to sleep. <laughs> but I most definitely will have a few sleepless nights when I find out what Dave bought. I may have spent a lot of money. Admittedly, I even tried to sneak into Dave's hotel. But unfortunately for me, the security here is no joke. And speaking of security, remember me mentioning Simply Safe earlier? They're the ones funding Dave's extravagant vacation and making this entire video possible. So listen up. I hired a professional thief to attempt to break into my house while I'm on my pitiful vacation to put Simply Safe to the test. It was extremely easy, almost too easy, to set Simply Safe up and secure my home. Simply Safe on. And they even have professional monitoring service that will dispatch the police. But the thief I hired swore he could get past any security. What he doesn't know is that I also installed the camera on my porch. While I was away, Simply Safe always updated me when a sensor went off, putting me at ease while I'm on the other side of the planet and while Dave is spending all of my money. Keep your home safe while you're on vacation and save 20% on your Simply Safe security system when you sign up for an interactive monitoring plan and get your first month completely for free. To learn more, visit simplysafe.com slash Isaiah Photo. And do whatever you can to not end up on a $1 vacation. But also, make better financial decisions than Dave. I, d I don't even like purple. Uh... I definitely wasted a lot of money. Meanwhile, I was still in search of some friends, and even though I'm terrible at soccer, I asked these guys if I could join them. Can I play with you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's go. This is the moment where I was realizing <laughs> that it didn't matter if all I had was a dollar. I was having the time of my life, laughing and playing soccer with this completely random group of guys. I'm having way too much fun. <laughs> they were so incredibly friendly and even taught me the tiger dance where they're from in India. I asked them what makes them so happy and they told me... Working with these guys. You have each other. Yeah. Yes. That's what makes you happy. Yeah. I love that. Dave was starting to have a different experience. It's kind of weird doing it on your own. It's like swimming in a pool. Yourself. But Dave's experience wasn't over yet. He still had a five-star restaurant to go to with more courses than he could count. I'm gonna go eat at probably the craziest place I've ever eaten. Apparently this is an underwater restaurant. As Dave was heading down to dinner, I was reflecting on my day. Honestly, after spending time with those guys and just like chatting with Nitesh, man, that makes me feel good. Just learning about their culture and dancing with them and playing soccer. Nothing is, uh, nothing's that great if you don't have somebody else to share it with. Dave's restaurant was no joke. This place was literally inside of an aquarium and costs a minimum of $250 per meal. Yeah. I know. You can buy a lot of pizza with $250. So I've realized that I've ordered two fish dishes when I'm chilling beside these guys. It's kind of like a tank of humans watching a fish eat a human. And uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I actually give one a name, the sea bass there, call him Brian. And then I um, subconsciously panic order sea bass. So I think I'm eating Brian. And while Dave was realizing that he literally just ate the only friend that he's made on this trip, I was finally spending my $1 on the meal of a lifetime. Thank you. Thank you for the I got myself a banana and I got myself some chips. Let's go. I feel like I did what I needed to do. That's satisfying. One dollar. <laughs> Best dollar I ever spent. I was completely and totally satisfied. Unlike Dave. I think I am realizing that doing stuff like this on your own really sucks. I, I can't remember the last time I had dinner on my own and it made it worse that I was just surrounded by like couples and like people who were all having the time of their life while I was just trying to make friends with a fish in a fish tank I think I ultimately ate. I feel like I thought I would be having way more fun by now. But like when you come back from like doing something cool and you don't have anyone to talk to about it, it kind of sucks I guess. Yeah, I don't know.
But this challenge isn't over. Dave still has the morning to turn things around, and I still have to go through the worst night's sleep of my life on this pathetic plot of grass. I'm fairly confident that at some point tonight, <laughs> Someone's gonna kick me out of here, but uh, the best that I can do, so uh, wish me luck. Yep, the worst night of my life. Not like Dave, who had the entire king-size bed to himself. When I woke up, I decided to head to the beach to watch the sunrise while I wait for Dave to see who had a better time. What a beautiful day! This place is so sick! I love the morning. Morning! Good morning, how are you? I'm well, how are you? You guys watching the sunrise? Yes. Beautiful. The only bad thing, I'm kind of stinky now. I think I have a way to fix that. <laughs> oh. It's a little bit better. Oh my goodness. If all, what the? Are you wet? What the heck are you doing? I checked out. What do you mean you checked out? Dave! What the heck is this? I spent a lot. And I also lost a receipt, so. No, you're wet. Let's just never do it separate ever again. That was just like not fun. As it turns out, money really can't buy you happiness. Experiences are really only as good as the people you spend them with. And you can spend more time with me by watching this video.